So this is going to be our planet with the little plus sign. So this is Earth, um, and this is going to be our sun. And what we want to know is the distance between the center of these two objects. So we have an R here. We're going to call that R. So we want to use Pythagorean's theorem, right, and build a triangle there. Let's actually make that solid. Okay. So we have our triangle here, and I'm going to go ahead and draw my axes. This is my y-axis. This is my x-axis here. Okay, so I need to know how is r projected onto the x-axis, and how is r projected onto the y-axis. So my position of my planet here, this is at um, x and y. And the position of my sun here is at x sun and y sun. Remember, we put this into our code as x y and x sun y sun. So if I want to know this position and that's projected along the x axis, I need to say that this projected onto my x axis is this long, okay? And I need to say that this, my sun, is projected down here, this long, okay. So you can see then from this image here, and actually I'll move out of the way so you can see that a little bit better. Our image here, we need to know the difference between these two lines in order to get the length of this part of the triangle. And so this is x, this is x sun, and we're going to just do a little bit of math. X minus X sun. And you know what? I forgot to just clarify that this is a, a right angle there. So this is, this is a right triangle, our 90 degrees. That's always a, a good thing. Okay, so uh, I, I hope I've shown you that this length here is the X minus X sun. Okay? And you can do the same thing with the y-axis, and, and you'll get y minus y sun. I'll just write that up here, that this distance is y minus y sun, and this distance is x minus x sun. Okay, so just to reiterate what we have here, uh, we have our, our distance to the planet on the x-axis here, and we have our distance to the sun on the y-axis here. And what we want is this length. We want a, the, the projection onto the x-axis of our, our hypotenuse here, what we're calling r. So the, the longer line minus the shorter line here is going to give us that difference. And we are calling that x minus x sun. So that gives us this distance right here. So we do that the same, same thing with our y. So we would take our y minus y sun sorry, minus y sun, and that'll give us y minus y sun. So uh, you've probably seen this in, in your, your trigonometry class, but um, you might, you might lab label this triangle A, B, and C, right? So this is getting a little messy here. So I'm going to come up here, and remember that A squared plus B squared equals c squared. Okay, so this is our um, Pythagorean theorem. We're going to just rearrange this real quick and do c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And in this situation, c is our hypotenuse, or our distance between our two astronomical bodies. Okay, so I'm going to write the same exact equation in terms of our r's, x's, and y's. So this is r squared, which equals, and I have to put this in parentheses because I have a, a difference to do, x minus x sun, and we're squaring that just like we've squared a, and then we have plus y minus y sun, and we square that. Okay, so now we have this, uh, this a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And for our code, we actually want r to just be in terms of r. So we're going to just do an r here equals 
the square root of, let's make that square root a little bit, a little bit easier to see. Square root of r squared is just r. And that means we also have to square root this whole part of the equation here. It's really hard to see, but I promise you there is a square root sign there. So all of this is uh, in a square root sign, all of this is in a square root sign, and that gives us r. So now we have the distance to our two objects. So let's go back to our code.